Welcome back to another marvelous tutorial brought to you by me. We're going to first start off with some white basic body paint in white. This is going to be used as a primer on the skin and for all the bright colors we're going to be using in these particular spots, i.e. the Glasgow smile spots and all over the eyes. We, yeah, we're going to be using some really bright colors so I wanted to ensure that they pop. Now laying down some latex in the Glasgow Smile format, I am adding a few extra lines to each side because you will see what we're going to do in a little bit. And then while that dries, we're going to pick up the pink, purple, and blue shades from the Take Me to Brazil palette and we're going to symmetrically lay them on the eyelids. I am starting off with pink in the inner crease. I'm then moving into purple for the mid lid. And then we're going to be spanning out into blue for the outer. I chose these colors in particular because A, they fade really well together, and B, they were pretty bright and vibrant. Now taking Ghost Red, this is one of the Deviant Cosmetics pigments, I am putting that on the brow bone as always and just briefly brushing off the excess. Now taking a pair of tweezers, we're going to be sketching out that Glasgow smile indentation. Can't have a Glasgow smile without it actually looking like it's ripped flesh. Please do that on both sides. And I do want to say beware when you do this. Do not do it the way that I do. Be more careful because you can actually pierce your skin and it just does not turn out fun. Now I did lay down some more latex while I was blabbing my mouth off. And then now we're moving on to eyeliner while that set dries. And I'm doing a basic cat eye just like I do in pretty much every video on the Keo channel. If you guys aren't pro at this by now, then I can keep doing it. That's fine with me. I love doing this kind of cat liner. Now it's time for mascara. Go ahead and coat those lashes on heavy because we don't want to see any of the fallout on those beauties. Yeah. Now taking some black liner, I'm going to go ahead and outline the eye like I always do in every tutorial. I love the look of black eyeliner. I, I know I've said it before, but I do not know how people can go without it. I.e. using like white eyeliner. I'm not bashing it off. I'm just saying like I'm not used to it. Now I'm going back with the tweezers and again indenting that latex area more. A better way to do this is, to give you guys a hint, while the latex is still wet, you can go ahead and kind of carve out these spots before it dries. That is one way to go about it. There are a few other ways, but moving along in this tutorial, we are going to coat that in the white primer powder just to kind of set it and take away any remainder of shine that was there. And then going back in with a black eyeliner pencil, I am just filling in some of those empty spots with black. That way it's gonna give it a nice deep set color when we place our other colors on top and make it look, you know, very deep. And then taking the same eyeshadows as we used in the eyelids, I'm going to go around the nice little Glasgow thing that we've got going on and lay down some brief colors. This does include all three, the pink, the purple, and the blue. And this part, you can make sure to put it in very different sections, like it doesn't have to be symmetrical on either side. I like the aesthetics of having it just placed everywhere, except for the eyes. The eyes keep symmetrical. Keep, keep those babies looking pretty. 
Now, this next step does kind of take a while, or at least for me, because I wanted to make sure that it was perfect, which in reality took actually maybe about like 40 minutes to an hour to go ahead and get all the coloring right. But after I laid down a few layers of the color in very light blotches, I placed down some of that nice bubblegum pink lipstick that I always use in a lot of my tutorials for blood and stuff. And fun fact, I learned this, is that if you lay down the lipstick and then you put some color over it, the color sticks a lot better. I did not know this before, but it was an accident that turned out to be amazing. So I went back and I laid down more color and I like how vibrant it actually came out. So I'm just going back, you know, doing the same process over and over, making sure that I'm getting it proper, setting it, or setting the colors, blending it out, adding more, taking it away. I'm adding some concealer over top of it just to dim it down a little bit and then, you know, continuing onward. Now for this part, I am taking some black body paint, as you can see in my hand, and sticking that in the crevices of the latex and obviously outlining my lips randomly. I guess we're moving on to those now. I chose to do this with a black lip. I know a lot of my tutorials recently have been with black lips, but gotta enhance something, right? And because of all the color, I wanted everything to kind of, I didn't want one thing to be more bold than something else. I wanted it all to blend in together. So I chose the black lipstick to kind of match the black oozy blood coming out the sides. And then this is an added touch. You can add these little veiny spikes, I guess. I don't know what to call them. They were a little added touch that I went and did last minute. I couldn't decide if I wanted them or not, but I decided to add them. And then I'm just placing some more color around them in various spots. Now, if you did not want these little spikes, you could have been done maybe about like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute ago, but I chose to keep going with this to make it as weird as I could. Now taking some scabby blood, this is where the Glasgow smile comes into play. You can never have a special effects makeup tutorial without blood. I mean, you probably could, but... I love everything with the scabby blood. It is my favorite. So I'm just putting that in the creases where we place that black body paint. And then I'm taking some blood gel and kind of going over that more to make the blood appear. Now you have that nice contrasting blood with the bright, vibrant colors in the background. And it looks pretty damn cool. Now this is customizable, you can do this any way that you want. And then add some lashes. I don't know why I didn't put these on earlier, but randomly I just decided to put them on near the end. So, add your lashes, and you are looking beautiful. Beautiful, I should say. If they would stay on right. Perfect! Maybe. No, maybe, maybe. No. There you go. And you are pretty much done. I just added a few extra touches and you're good to go. 